Hello friends. In this session, we are going to talk about thermionic emission and its uses. Thermionic emission is a type of electronic emission. Now, in the previous session, you might have understood what is electronic emission. Electronic emission is nothing but emission of electrons from any metal surface. Now, the point is why and when does this electrons come out of the metal surface? Now, in, a, uh, in an atom, we have nucleus at the center and electrons revolve around the nucleus, right? Now, this electrons revolve around the nucleus in many orbit. We have some electrons in the first orbit, we have some electrons in the second orbit and we have some electrons in the third orbit and so on. The electrons in the first orbit are very highly attracted towards the nucleus. However, as in when we are going away from the nucleus, the electrons which are located in the outermost orbit are very weakly attracted towards the nucleus. That means, these electrons which are in the outermost orbit have the tendency to leave the orbit if at all they get sufficient energy. If we provide this energy to this outermost electrons in form of heat, these electrons absorb that energy and this, if the heat energy is sufficient enough, these electrons leave the metal surface. So, this emission of electrons leaving the metal surface because of gain of thermal energy is called as thermionic emission. Right? So, these electrons which are located in the outermost orbit are very weakly attached and they have the tendency to leave the orbit if at all they get sufficient energy extern from external environment. If we are giving this energy uh, in form of heat, this thermal energy is absorbed by the electrons and if it is su sufficient enough, it will leave the metal surface and this process is called as thermionic emission. So, have you understood what is thermionic emission? Let us understand its uses. The filament bulb that we have or the electric bulb, you might have seen electric bulb. Inside the electric bulb, you might have seen a filament which is glowing. The moment we supply electric uh, uh, electricity to that filament, the filament gets heated up. And this heated element uh, uh, filament uh, releases electrons from it. The electrons receive this energy in form of thermal energy and they leave the metal surface which is also an example of thermionic emission. The major application of thermionic emission is also done in CRT, cathode ray tube. In cathode ray tube, there is a, a, a device which is called as electron gun. The, the, the job of this electron gun is to generate electrons and then bombard these electrons on the screen. Now, the point is how exactly are these electrons generated? The metal, uh, 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 the filament inside the electron gun is heated up which is coated by uh, uh, some chemical. Now, the moment this chemical is heated up, these electrons are uh, uh, leave the metal surface because this electron get enough of thermal energy. The moment this electrons are, uh, the, the moment this electron leave the surface, these electrons are attracted uh, by the virtue of electric field and then it is deviated by the virtue of magnetic field and this is how the CRT that is cathode ray tubes actually work. Right? So, we have many applications of uh, thermionic emission. I hope you have understood the session. Thanks a lot.